Hi everyone! Welcome to another chapter in the Creating Analytics in WKO series. This is Lesson 3, Using Sport Type in Charts. There are a couple options for specifying sport types when you display charts and reports. The easiest way is to use just regular charts and then select the sport types you want in the sport picker at the top of the right hand explorer or RHE for short. The second way is to build charts with sport types specified in the chart expressions themselves and we're going to take a look at both of these options. The sport picker is at the top of the RHE and this is where you select the sports that you want to show on charts and reports. Um, it also affects the RHE. For example, if we only had bike workouts selected, it would show us the quantity of bike workouts in the date range here. Because we have all workouts selected, we can see that there are 91 total workouts in this date range in the last 90 days. It does not affect the hero bar, just the charts and reports and the RHE itself. Also, it will only show the sports that the athlete actually participates in. So we can see that this athlete has, at some point or another, done bike workouts, mountain bike workouts, run workouts, walk, swim, strength, and of course days off, and other type workouts. All right, let's talk about building what we call open charts, which are not limited to any specific sport type. These charts simply allow you to select sports in the sport picker and change what data is displayed on the chart. The benefits are, of course, that it's pretty simple and you don't have to customize the chart. You can use charts for pretty much any sport type, different scenarios. The con is that you must remember to select the sports you want in the RHE. If you have some sports deselected, you may notice that some charts appear blank. Just remember to check what sports you've picked. As an example, here is a report that shows the duration of workouts, the sport type of workouts, and the subsport of workouts. We're looking at the last two weeks of data. All the sport types are selected, so we're seeing bike workouts, other workouts, and we can see that some of the bike workouts are mountain bike workouts. If we deselect road bike, now we see only mountain bike and other sport types. And if we deselect mountain bike, we see only other sport type workouts. We can see that this athlete does not have any run, walk, swim, strength, or days off in the last two weeks. So you can see how selecting and deselecting sport types changes what data is displayed on your charts. Okay, let's talk about building charts with sports specified right in the chart itself and this allows you to always display data from a certain sport without having to select it or deselect the other sports in the sport picker. It is especially useful when you want to compare data from different sports on the same dashboard or chart at the same time. Um, the cons are that of course it takes more customization and you need to create multiple charts or data series for different sports. And it's important to remember that the sports selected in the sport picker will still affect your charts. For example, if you build a chart for run data and then deselect run in the right-hand explorer, your chart will appear blank. Okay, there are a couple important options for building sport type into your chart expressions. The first and simplest is when you're working with channels, the data channels recorded by your device. In this case, when you are building a report looking for the data channels, simply add a sport type right to the channel name. So for example, power, cadence, heart rate, and speed are data channels recorded by your device. Simply add bike to make it bike power or run to make it run power. And the chart will pull power data or cadence, heart rate, speed, whatever you've specified from that sport only. If you download the handout for this tutorial, you can click on this link to see a list of all the channel variables you can use this sport type with. As an example, here is a report that has three data series, average power, which is all power, average bike power, and average run power. 
on this top screenshot, you can see that we have all sports selected, so it's giving us all three data series, and you can see that each one is different. If we deselect the road bike icon, we can see that average power changes because it's no longer using road bike workouts. The average bike power data series disappears completely because there's no data to report, and we still see average run power because we've still got run workouts selected. And because this athlete does not have any power data other than road, bike, and run, the two averages are the same. If we deselect the run icon and select bike again, we can see that the average power again changes because it's no longer considering run power. And the average bike power data series shows up. And we can see that the averages are the same. Average run power is not displayed because there's no run data to show. Here we can see a chart using bike power. If you want to show a mean max power curve, you simply type in mean max paren power close paren, and that shows the mean max curve for all power in the date range selected. If you want to display only bike power, you could deselect all other sport types and leave bike selected, or you can change your expression to be mean max paren bike power close paren. Now your mean max power curve is displaying only power from bike workouts. To build charts with other expressions other than data channels from workout files, you can use the if sport function. This can be used with pretty much any expression. You simply type if open paren sport equals, and then in quotes, the sport you want to look for, then comma, and then your expression. The available sport type labels you can use are bike, run, swim, row, ski, and other. You can also use subsports and you use the same expression, you just change sport to subsport. And then these are the labels that you would use in those quotation marks road bike, mountain bike, run, walk, strength, day off, other. Let's take a look at an example. To list max power for workouts in the date range selected, you would simply type max paren power close paren. But if you want to limit it to run workouts only, again, as we talked about before, you could deselect all sports except for run, or you can modify your expression to use the if sport function. Here you can see that you know we've got if sport equals run, comma, and then your expression, which is max power. It is important to remember to preserve whatever parentheses were in the original expression. And now we can see that on this report, it displays only run workouts. Here is an example of what happens when you deselect the sport you've specified in your chart. Obviously, we built this report to use only run workout data. We have now deselected run in the sport picker and our chart is blank. So if you've got blank charts, be sure to check what sports are selected and deselected and how the chart expressions are built. The handout for this tutorial is linked in the video description. You can download it and click on these links for more information or just visit wko5.com for guides and tutorials and tons of information. Thanks so much for watching and stay tuned for lesson four.